Hello, and welcome. All right, who's this guy? To my repository. Right off the bat, gave him those uh, uh horror, you know, vi uh, horse, you know, heart pumping, uh, heart stopping vibes here. Where you got electricity? I am the curator, the beauty, life, and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions, or death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived, and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Occasionally help the curator. All right, we're on a boat. Sunny day. Beautiful weather. Uh, Brad, witty. 
Ox blood, innocent. Do government mobile. His boyfriend's care motivated. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah. I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, go. I had to work. I wanted to. I just didn't. I didn't have time. You know, I had to work all summer. Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> Whoa! Careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Well, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded. So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Uh, I was invited? Who was? I was invited. Julia wanted you to come along. <laughs> For real? Julia? Yeah, man. She wanted you to come. And I wanted her to see how cool you are, which you're not. So be cool. Capiche? <laughs> All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. No, the empathetic route. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Relationship updated. All right, Conrad, Fliss, Julia, Alex. All right, so our relationship with Alex went up. Uh, Brad is envious, eager, truthful, witty. All right. So I'm guessing it's like say, I would say Brad's like the geeky younger brother, and Alex just the popular, good-looking brother. That kind of you know, you know, sibling, you know, sibling relationship. Or probably, yeah, or, or probably any, uh, uh, like, let's say, a uh, horror uh, setting, you know. Gotta have those distinct between two family members. That makes sense. <laughs> Alright, look at that much. Hey! So, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? This, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? Uh oh. I don't know what's the right thing to do. Uh, no cares. I thought it's the, it's the best way. Are you sure you're ready? Give it some thought. Consider all the permutations. Bearing updated proposal. Brad told Alex to think things through. Julia, Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless, excited. Uh, Conrad, Julia's brother, relaxed, foolhardy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Mr. Hey, man. Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Uh, let's play cool. Yeah, yeah cool. <laughs> Tight. Uh, I, I love beer. Uh,. Hmm. I'll see the increase. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. 
You ever do any diving before? Mm. I'll say never. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. Gonna be gentle. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oh, where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Who's this? Fliss, Captain of the Duke Yard, courageous and patient. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but uh So is everybody on board and ready to go? Now oh, she's the captain of the ship. Oh, and I'm buying. Oh. Oh. Damn, she wasted no time. She wasted no time. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually, these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Nice dive. I'll say, let's do his Brad homework. Brad did his homework. If he says a wreck's here, it's here. <laughs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying, we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? All right. Let's... All right. It was like probably for a slight change for Brad. All right. Feast your eyes on this. Brad's Source. calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? The right way. Uh, nah, fuck it. Who cares? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? What is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's gonna know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera, see if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro? Alright, man of the ocean, let's... Alright, what's this? Oh, binoculars. Okay, we all can move. Okay. Now let's look. Where the Anything out there? Let's see. What's this? What's that? Can I notify people? Or no, maybe like that. Okay, so I saw a thing, but I can't, you know, tell people. Can't tell people? Oh, let me see. Let's see, can I... What's this? There's a little gap in the oh. tail. Take a look. Okay. 
Yeah, so we're, we're definitely scuba salvaging. Checking this out. Oh. Alright, so we're playing. got the gear good to go mm. I wonder if she need a hand need an extra hand never used a rebreather before I think we're in good shape it's probably not a bad idea for you to have a clue how these things work gotta say not too happy with our captain at the moment Oof. definitely make a fortune seriously where does she get off bitching about us She's making a small fortune on this trip. Yeah, not that small. Rules are rules. I get it. But what's the big deal if nobody finds out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right. I'm going to get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Oh, check that out. Uh, okay, for our relationship with Fliss slightly gone down. Secrets. Okay. Here's okay, let's find stuff. Can I talk to Fliss? Okay. Uh, let's see. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Respect mm. We did pay a lot. Fliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive. In this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Uh, let's take a stand. Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but, you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Hmm. I think, I guess she needs to make money too. Okay, okay, how much? Fine. I get it. How much? How much what? How much money will it take for you to stop breathing down her necks? You... <laughs> this is not about the money. Really? You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks a lot. Okay, now it's... Okay. I figured I... Knew that would happen. Okay, Fliss is pissed at us. Mm. What's this? Uh, weather 29. I'll just turn. You know how to use that? Uh, no. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Sure, not about the money. She needs to make money, to make a living too. But we're offering that. Eh, search yours. What's this? Full names, so this is two parts. I guess it. The instructor identified on the rear is authorized to conduct classes and the designated specialty as sanctioned by Dive Ma Master Federation. Is this her? Oh, this is, this is our ID. This doesn't look kosher. Alright, let's check, let's check up a little broski. What am I looking at here? Pretty locked. High and dry. 
Hmm. Saw something. Probably in the future, what's gonna happen? Let's see, can I? Alright, uh, let's go to this one. Okay, can you open that? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Uh, sympathetic. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Alright. What's here? What's it? What's in direct with this? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. Perfume. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Expensive perfume. Okay. Shroud. What's this? Shroud of innocence. Check out, so I don't want to miss anything. I'll, I'll check that, close it out. All right. This is the rebreather, way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay, O2 check done. Sounds good. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Uh, playful. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know <laughs> it. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Je little jelly. All right, make sure you're strapped up. Take uh, it's like this. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha right, ha. Kids. You ever Good have to, to use go. one? On a shark? No. Nope. Just remember the rules, please. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. All right, look, like, looks like top-notch stuff. Whoa, you good? More or less. Oh shit. She been flips so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, 
way bigger than I thought. I found a seat. Alright, uh. It's pretty intense, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Very focused. Uh, you know what, just take a load off, relax. Sure. Why not? Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. Don't ask a lady about her money. Uh, I want to try to smooth things over. Long story. It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan. You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested. Maybe my family can make an investment in your business. Mm. Well, I think she needs it, yeah. Good. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Alright, those all right, looks pretty positive between them. Now let's check. Relaxed, excited, motivated, guarded. Julia, Alex. Okay, wow, we're deep. We're down deep, Alex. Brad, Sam, Conrad, Sam. Alright. Oh, just Alex. Shit. Let's mm. we'll see what things goes with Alex. Alright. Is that right? Sorry. Uh, I wonder if in wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. I wonder if I interact the same, same thing but a different person, anything would change. Let's see. Oh, wait, what's this? Uh, let's see, can Alright, what's that? Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia? Ah, shit, nothing. Static. Uh, let's see. Let's see what's out there. Anything out of the ordinary? That's that. Uh, that. That's the only thing, the yellow thing sticking out. That's the only thing that stands out here. Ah, uh, nothing. I was interact with Conrad. Let's see. Hey there, how's it hanging? Uh, I feel like you can help, miss. You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. So are you bitched? So are you beached? 
Beach like a oh. whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? <laughs> Amused? All right, I'll give him that one. <laughs> nice one. How long you been cooking that one up? All afternoon. Good use of your time. I like to make the most of it. Mm-hmm. I'll see you later. Uh, all right. Good. Uh, let's check up. Is Brad down there? Yeah, that's correct. All right, so all right, so that page. No, 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 no. Go back down. All right, let's check up on Brad. Still hungover. Oh wait, what's this? Oh, sir. Uh, account number, dear. This, oh, this, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of allegation to make regular payments on your personal loan. Oh, sh oh man, she's defaulting on her loan. She's uh, the bank. Let me see. The loan holds a reminder remain remainder of twenty four thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars with a sum of three thousand four hundred eighty one dollars payable by August first, two thousand nineteen. This amount has been overdue since that date, and you agree to have more multiple requests for. Payments or discussion to to resource only your debt. Unless the outstanding amount is received by 30 August 30th, 2019, we will have no trip but to begin the foreclosure uh, uh, process against your collateral, namely uh, her boat. Okay, she's defaulting on a payment. Uh, what well, like? Mm, probably she can't come with the money. Luckily, uh, Cameroon is making a choice to invest all right should cover that okay so in terms she's in debt the fuck hey, is Flit. This? look there's a boat what's that about That is not the Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, I feel like she can handle it, yeah. Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, ten bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it twenty. Oh my god, he's being an asshole. Well, shoot, you you think it's more like thirty? I can do thirty. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Oh my god, now he's just coming out as an asshole. Well, Connor just shows his true colors. <laughs> Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Oh, careful. 
could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not wait for the time to not explore. Go! Gosh. Was she having a heart attack? Oh, same thing. Oh. Julia, leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Let's leave for the moment. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Is he taking over a whole gear? Oh shit. something stupid down here that's it one chance you get that yeah she's fine chill out i'm fine see no problemo fishing in progress search area one clear two three clear clear they were on their way to help out a ship Fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. Oh shit, they're fine. Hey buddy, you okay? He's holding something. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's like a locker. It's no picture. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. 
plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. What's this? Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a smoke. Green shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh. Oh. Okay. I. Uh... What are you doing? Why are you fidgeting? Uh. I don't know. I. I. Wanted to bring something up with you, but it's it's not the best time. Uh, painful. Oh, you had something to raise with me, did you? It <sighs> doesn't matter. Let's get back up to the top. Uh, this probe. Hey, seriously, what's going on? Nothing. Yeah, but you're freaking me out. Just get it. I shouldn't have said anything. Come on. We've really got to get up top. Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Oh, Damn. fuck. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Eh, fine. Smart move. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Sorry, fuck. Fuck it, I'm going. JJ, don't worry about it. Oh, that's some money. There was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Bar oh Jesus, my god, though, you were like the whole boat was lit up. Where? What's the other boat? Yeah. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is. What'd you guys find? Well, we found a plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, 
forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. How well preserved was the plane? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look sound for like him. him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Sorry. Hey, there. hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry, uh... I was just thinking about how crazy our dive was. Can you believe what we just got to experience? Yeah, good. I expected it to be cool, but that was... That was, like, life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. Uh, yeah, our trip's memorable. Every trip we take together is memorable. You know, you're pretty much the best thing that ever happened to me. Oh my, oh my god. Alright, I'll say that. I love you, Alex. You know where everybody is? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? <laughs> What's your problem? Give it a rest already. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What's this? You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. All right, all the camera. No, I'm good. Sorry. Can you know check the photos? No, just look at the camera. Oh, wait, not okay. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Hey. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. 
right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Uh, feel f looks, looks fine. Let's live for the moment. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah. That makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh, well, to be honest, who would know? Exactly. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Uh, yeah, I want to hear it, too. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll Isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Uh... The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. <laughs> Two more. 
Yeah, so. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet, says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so gross. Hell, <laughs> super twist. Nice. Nice. Okay, that was good, sorry. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Okay, yeah, that was a cool story. You have me going. It's pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.